a global campaigning and advocacy organization of more than 7 million people is taking action to put in an end to extreme poverty and preventable diseases in Africa, not politically partisan, one raises public awareness and press political leaders to stop AIDS and preventable diseases, increase investments in agriculture and nutrition, and demand greater transparency in poverty fighting programs. As the government prepares to finalize its 2017 budget, top Nigerian celebrities are urging the government to invest in health as stipulated in the National Health Act 2014 and keep its commitment to the 2011 African Union's Abuja commitment. Historically, Nigeria has never really taken health as a priority. And what has happened is that it has transcended in terms of policy and all that. So government tends to overlook health. Most times, people just ascribe health to God. But when you are challenged by health, uh, especially when it's being prevented, you realize that your own personal action and what exists around you is very important. For some of us who have been Place where we're challenged by one health problem or the other. So what has happened over the last few months is that uh, there's been this campaign, Make Niger Stronger campaign, and a key part of that campaign is the approach to making sure that the health system in Nigeria works for Nigerians. It's about creating a critical mass of people that realize that if the Nigerian economy is to leapfrog, reach, uh, achieve its full potential, the Nigerian population needs to be healthy. It is not acceptable that 750,000 young people die in Nigeria every year. Who's going to build Nigeria tomorrow? It is not acceptable that we have thousands of women who died out of childbirth. That is not acceptable. We've had situations and cases where um, um, healthcare professionals die in accident, right? It means that Nigeria makes a, a double loss, right? You lose people's lives, but you lose an investment that you made in those doctors. Why? Because the health system is not adequate to deal with basic things. So this movement is all about making sure that one, we, at the leadership level, at the top leadership level, there is an appreciation of the importance of health investments. Joining Waji at the launch of a new video by the one campaign titled I am in to make Niger stronger was an all-star cast including Yemi Alade, Desmond Elliott, Kate Ensign, Ali Nu, Basket Mouth and Tools. Niger, our healthcare system is failing us. Every day we lose thousands of fellow Nigerians to diseases or childbearing. Well we can do something that tells our leaders enough. enough is enough. Sign the petition to make Niger stronger. Better hospital and good medicine na the rights of every citizen for this country. Young young girls supposed to get better correct health care. We go help them mature into strong women. Our country hope, joy and laughter depend on a better health care system. Saboda al-umma ta ta cigaba da samar da masu baiwa dan cigaban kasar nan. Good health care keeps our nation strong and productive. So stand with us. For a stronger health care, stronger family, to make Niger stronger. Now it's your turn. I want you to go to one.org right now and sign the petition to make Niger stronger. Despite being Africa's biggest economy, Nigeria spends relatively little on the health of its citizens and is facing both a health and nutrition crisis as women and children continue to die from treatable and preventable diseases. Fifteen years ago, all African governments made a commitment in Abuja to increase health spending to 15% of their national budget. However, the funding for the historic Abuja Declaration has never been met by Nigerian policymakers. Only 4.37% of the country's budget is allocated to health in the 2016 appropriation bill and the national health act 2014 has not yet been funded nor fully implemented